Welcome to the Daily Quiz Podcast. Today's category is general knowledge. Let's get to it. Question 1. What word is used in the NATO phonetic alphabet for the letter A? Is it A. Animal B. Apple C. Alpha Or D. Aeroplan The answer is C. Alpha. In the NATO phonetic alphabet, the word alpha is used to represent the letter A. Interestingly, this term has its origins in the Greek language, where alpha is the first letter of their alphabet. The use of alpha in military communication ensures clear and precise transmission of information across different languages and backgrounds. Question 2. Which word is defined as the small quantity of something left over? Is it A. Blatherskite B. Tidinope C. Winklepicker Or D. Funambulist The answer is B. Tidinope in addition to its delightful sound, tiddy-nope is a whimsical term that refers to a small amount of something left over. Originating from Scottish dialects, this word adds a touch of charm and humor to everyday language. So next time you have a tiddy-nope of food on your plate, remember this quirky term. Question 3. Which word is defined as nonsense? Is it a quomodokunkwising? B. Ragamuffin C. Poppycock Or D. Diphthong The answer is C. Poppycock Poppycock, a word meaning nonsense, has an interesting origin. It is believed to have originated in the Netherlands as papcack, which translates to soft dung. Over time, it evolved into popcack and eventually became poppycock in English. So next time you hear someone spouting nonsense, just call it poppycock. Question 4. The Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk was the first of which type of aircraft? Is it A. Supersonic B. Stealth C. Automated Or D. Nuclear The answer is B. Stealth. The Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk, known for its distinctive angular shape and black color, was the first operational aircraft designed around stealth technology. Its unique design helped it evade enemy radar detection during missions. Interestingly, the F-117 was kept highly classified for many years before its existence was officially acknowledged by the U.S. government in 1988. Question 5. Which word is defined as shouting together with joy? Is it A. Whippersnapper B. Discombobulate C. Conjubilant Or D. Gentacular The answer is C. Conjubilant. Did you know that the word conjubilant is a rare and whimsical term that perfectly captures the exuberance of shouting together with joy? It's like a linguistic celebration in itself. So next time you're feeling jubilant with friends, why not add some extra flair by being conjubilant together? Question 6. Which word is defined as used in Edinburgh as a warning cry when it was customary to throw slops from the windows into the streets? Is it A. Gardaloo B. Half Pace C. Nudie Astertion Or D. Oxter The answer is A. Gardaloo In the 18th century, the word Gardaloo was commonly used in Edinburgh as a warning cry before people would toss their waste out of windows onto the streets below. The term is believed to have originated from the French phrase garde à l'eau, which translates to watch out for the water. Question 7. 
Which word is defined as a bellyache? Is it A. Frankenfood? B. Collywobbles? C. Lackadaisical? Or D. Earth? The answer is B. Collywobbles. The term collywobbles not only refers to a bellyache but also has a fascinating origin. It is believed to have come from the Old English word collo, meaning the intestines, and wobble, describing the feeling of discomfort in one's stomach. So next time you have the collywobbles, remember its quirky etymology. Question 8. What did Wilhelm Röntgen discover in 1895? Is it A. Nuclear radiation? B. The jet engine? C. X-rays? Or D. The Galapagos Islands? The answer is C. X-rays. Wilhelm Röntgen's discovery of X-rays in 1895 was so groundbreaking that he initially referred to them as X for unknown. The first X-ray image ever taken was of his wife's hand, revealing the bones and her wedding ring. This accidental finding revolutionized the fields of medicine, science, and technology. Question 9. What is the term for the part of a financial portfolio that can be turned into cash quickly? Is it A. Private equity B. Liquid assets C. Diverse holdings or D. Leverage The answer is B. Liquid assets. Liquid assets are like the financial ninjas of your portfolio, ready to spring into action at a moment's notice. From cold hard cash to stocks that can be easily sold, these assets are the swift and agile members of your financial team, always prepared for whatever curveballs the market throws their way. Thanks for testing your general knowledge with us. Remember, the more you know, the less you'll have to Google. Stay curious and keep quizzing. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Let's part ways for now, until tomorrow arrives. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. See the show notes page for sources and credits. Check out our other podcasts in our network at ClassicStudios.com.